Hi there, let me introduce you to some simulations that I have been doing for a while, but I never had time to, to finish everything, but just to show some results. So during the last open phone world track, I have the opportunity to show something really fast now during this three minutes uh, splash talk. So I'm going to talk about the not so simple fly mechanics of Iron Man. So this is not pretty colors, okay? This is actual science, okay? Because we're going to use the same metal methodology that we use to do a fly mechanics study of an airplane, you know, fly mechanics, fly dynamics, and aerodynamics performance. So just to introduce you the geometry, this is what we're modeling. So as you see, it's a quite complex geometry. We have Ironman. So we want to see if it actually flies. Okay, let's see is, is what we see in the movies is true or no, or how we can control this. So as you see, it's a very complex geometry, okay, it's more than a thousand components, they intersect and overlap. So you know that doing doing the mesh for, for, for this is quite tricky. So I am a guy that likes to do the solid modeling, and I have this complex model, now I found it on the internet, so you have the link. Here is because some, some point also I want just to articulate it, move the arms and so on. So to do this one is quite tricky. Doesn't matter the software that we are using. So in this, let's say in the spirit that we're using open phone, is you think about how snappy you you you, you will see, see that it's quite tricky. But I'm going to show you results using different software, so open phone and also some commercial tools. So basically how we proceed to, to do this is that we have the geometry, very it's a dirty, tricky geometry, so somehow we need to extract the, the, the main feature. So we use the technique you known as called uh, string drag method. So in later videos I will show you the software or one of the software that I use to do that. There are many options. So basically from this very dirty geometry, which is not amenable for any cat software, we can get a surface machine like that. Okay, so basically we're extracting the main features. So here I'm not using a super fine resolution to extract those features, but still we get the main features, okay? But if we can keep using lower and lower tolerances and you will extract the main features. But you see we capture very well now the main geometrical features of Iron Man. Then how do we proceed now the next step? So we start with the geometry, then we do the string wrap, we're going to talk about how to do it using some specific software and then we do the surface meshing and the volume meshing okay so we have this starting geometry and then we just proceed to do the meshing so see that in this case at this point i really like uh, polyhedral cells so we're using polyhedral cells and also we have the prismated layer close to the volume cell but see that very nicely we, we, we capture all the features of that complex geometry so now let's talk about the actual study we have the mesh can be used. So here specifically we're talking about Iron Man now the iteration Mark 42. So for those that follow this movie there are many of them. So Mark 42 is not the latest one but it says it's one that we see working in the movies. So here's where we take a few assumptions. So let's make a very conservative uh, assumption that everything weights 300 kilos. So let's say that tonic star, 80 kilos, 85 kilos, whatever, plus the armor and everything that you put there. And even we can go very conservative 200 kilos, okay? But in this case, I made these assumptions, okay? 300 kilos. So what we can see here is that in the simulations we're doing now, we're using, by the way, in this case is open phone K Omega SST turbulence model. So we're making this assumption Mach number 0.3 at this altitude and it's a level fly, okay? Zero degrees angle of attack. And we know that if we want to stay aloft, we need to generate this, the, the lift needs to be equal to the weight. And in this case, we look at that the lift is very, very, very low. It's something equivalent to, to, to 60 kilos, so it's not enough. To, to, to keep it flying but what is more interesting is that we look at drag the drag is very high so we have a LD radius of very low so it's from aerodynamical point of view it's not very efficient okay and also so we look at the moment uh, coefficient about the CG that we're assuming that we put it here we have a very very heavy uh, push up moment so it's quite difficult to, to control but from this simple study, we see that it actually doesn't fly, okay? So basically the conclusion is that Hollywood is lying to us. And it doesn't matter the hypothesis that you take and you can go to the more conservative one that everything including armor and the person inside weights 100 kilo, you are 
far away from that. And it doesn't work even if you change your angle attacks, okay? So if you do aerodynamics, you know that you can do those polar plus different angle of attack and so on. And you were going to have a, a very bad performance, okay? So the only way to make it fly, fly is just to add some kind of thrust vectoring. So we can add some thruster here and just produce that vertical for that. Actually, in some latest movie, you will see that now in the armor there are some small thrust production some points there but that is the only way that we can make it fly and things can get even worse you now if we, we change altitude if we have hot cold water icing conditions so things get even worse uh just to point out also that we can increase the velocity okay and we know that it <coughs> the lead drive can increase no proportional no, to the square of the velocity but it doesn't matter you are not going to produce that enough uh, that that required lift so that being said let's see here what 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 i want to do the, the that that we know that it doesn't fly okay unless we add this thrust back turn but the next step is to do also a little bit of fly mechanics stability so i think this should be moving so let me see okay so click there you see that the animation so the, the next step is just to control so we have seen the movies that it maneuvers and it goes from horizontal flight and then it goes to that hovering fly state like this one so that is the next step that already have it working uh, so here to do this when i'm using overset meshes i have to point out that not necessarily the best technique but i want to do it because as i mentioned at the beginning i would like to articulate the geometry so probably it's the easiest way but there are many ways to do it okay so we can use a sliding mesh rotate the the whole domain but this is the idea that is it is coming from horizontal fly and then you rotate and there it will stay hovering so at this point i have as i say i have been doing this for, for a really long time it's not just colors so i i have a very primitive control system now using open from python and open model just to control and just to find what is the trust required just to do this rotation and then when you are perfectly vertical how to keep it stay aloft okay so i have some system to control that Okay, it's quite expensive simulations. I'm talking about the meshing techniques, so I say not necessarily the best one. Okay, and for those that use OpenFone, we know that it, what is implemented now in the ESI version is not the best technique. So if you use the ESI, probably older versions you get something like this, newer version, they opti optimize them. I want to stress that this is not obtained using the newest version. This is using a method that is implemented. It's not the ideal one, okay, basically I I am carving now this camera hole manually, but it works, I get something very good, but just to put the body into motion like this, it, it would, be, would be very tricky. Uh, okay, so this is the idea now that we have this is the standard method, then when you optimize, now you reduce and so on, okay? But as I say, it's not ideal, it's the best technique. And here we have a, a zoom in here, so as you see, we are already something fly, in one point we turn out the control system and then it will go into the vertical position so just the main, the main takeaway is this one as they say this is not just colors now just to conduct the flight mechanics dynamic study of an airplane we use the same methodology okay it's different geometry where we need to to balance everything uh just to say that there are journals that address the physics of superheroes believe it or not and science fiction so you have these two journals here so if you want to join me now and try to get this working just drop me an email now have a, some fun and try to polish something so drop me an email so again just to say that hollywood is dying now and i really hope someone some from hollywood sees this and put a little bit more realistic behavior into the movies okay because that iron man doesn't matter the condition that, that that you put it it is not flying okay the only way is to add that vector thrust but it still is something quite tricky so this is what i wanted to show you also just to let you know that i will create more videos just to show you how i uh, create everything and so on but as you see the starting point is the geometry you have your geometry okay that is a very good starting point then in this case very dirty you extract the main features and from here you know what to do Okay, thank you for your attention and hope to see you in the next videos. Bye.